Hi, everyone. Yes, I moved back the time because of the football game. But if I would have known how it ended, I wouldn't have moved it back. It was a very tight game. It was back and forth, back and forth. And at the very end, we lost by an extra point kick. I mean, not an ex a field goal, a three point uh, field goal. So it was a sad ending. We almost won and Don't had a chance. To take out your trash cans. That's Alexa reminding me to take out the garbage tonight. When should I remind you? <laughs> when should I remind you? At 7 o'clock. Okay. I'll remind you at 7 p.m. Okay. All right. Who's here? Bumblebee, Diane, and Lightning Bugs here. Hi. Thanks for joining me. I had a fairly good week. I didn't have that many more sales, but I had better sales, especially on Poshmark. So, yeah, and I just discovered, I had heard about this, but I had just, I just discovered uh, Poshmark has a live auction going on now, too. Maybe it would be easier to get onto that. I don't know. The people on there seem to be getting a little more money for their things. <clears throat> but there's not near as many, which is probably good. But I just wonder if it's going to uh, take off like Whatnot did. I hear it's really hard to get, uh, you know, okay to get on to uh, Whatnot. There's huge line. And unless you have a huge following of people on YouTube or a big, you know, yeah, YouTube presence. It's very, very hard to get on there. So I haven't put my name in there yet, but I bet that it would take me ages to get on there. And I'm not even sure if I want to do it yet. <laughs> anyway, I want to get, I was, uh, trying to watch something on YouTube just now about things you can use from the dollar store. <laughs> I like those kind of uh, uh, YouTube videos. They're fun. They make a lot of things out of the things that you can get in uh, the dollar store. But anyway, let me introduce myself. To if, if there's anybody that's uh, hiding there, it's not... Uh, not uh, been on here before. My name is Shirley. I'm from Shirley's World Vlog. And I do usually YouTube videos about reselling. It's usually my, I'm usually on twice a week. In the middle of the week, there's usually a haul video of what, when I've gone thrifting or gotten a box of goodies. Uh, and every Sunday, usually at four o'clock, uh, the last few weeks, because of football season, I've been on at closer to five because I like to watch the Browns play, and they seem to be always playing at one o'clock in the afternoon, and they're just ending. Uh, it's, the game's not quite over at four o'clock, so I pushed it back till five sometimes. Not all the time, but four is my normal time. Uh, I told my girlfriend, I talked to my girlfriend uh, that I haven't talked to in a long while. Uh, last night or the night before last uh, and told her I was doing this and she had no idea that I was. So I show, uh, told her how to find me. So I don't know if she'll come on or not. But Pam, if you're here, say hi. <laughs> and uh, Anyway, I'm going to get started here and share my screen and show you all the things that I sold this week. Then I'll show you my numbers at the end. So let me share. 
<clears throat> I have to move this up. It's not down far enough. Yeah, that's funny. It doesn't have the share of the screen thingy. No, that's not good. <laughs> I don't understand why it's not there. No. That's not it. Don't tell me I can't do this after all this. Mm -mm -mm. It's always right there. Having issues? Yes, I am. Where's the share screen? Yes, present, invite. I don't know. I don't know where it's gone. How can I share the screen? Share screen. Well, that's strange, the strangest thing. Maybe I waited too long. I'm not seeing an error message. I'm talking to uh, StreamYard right now. Just no share screen. Bottom. Kind of device I'm at and um, I'm sorry folks. I have to figure this out or I may have to start all over again. <clears throat> I'm on live. The button should be at the bottom. Well, I know that. The label was recently changed to present, but if you click that, the option to share. Oh. Well, why didn't they tell? Okay. There it is. Well, they never told me that before. Okay. Works. Okay. I'm sorry. I had to get that figured out. <laughs> I'm glad I called him. <clears throat> uh, okay. Wow, that took a long time. Let me turn this off somehow. How do I get rid of that? Okay. Okay. Are we all here? Are we all still here? I'm sorry. 
Okay, this is the first thing. Like I said before, I sold 20 eBay, eBay items and I sold 10 Poshmark items. So, you know, twice as many eBay, but I'm not sure, so sure about the numbers. We'll see that at the end. So the first thing is this Coldwater Creek sweatshirt. This was really pretty. Uh, the front on that is, on this particular pic picture before I get to the next one, you can't go in close to this, but those were actually appliques on there, the flower appliques. It was really pretty. It sold for $25.29. <clears throat> it went to Ocala, Florida. I hope they're okay in Ocala, Florida. Uh, it went uh, priority shipping. And they paid shipping on that. Okay, let's go to the regular one now. Oh, there it was. Okay, this was in amongst my uh, collection of uh, old crocheted things. This is a call, an old collar, had a little pearl button there, and it was in really good condition. And uh, I put it on and it sold for $14.29. That was sale. These are all sale prices, I believe. Well, this may not have been. I've, I think I had sales on just the clothes. I think this was under accessories <clears throat> but anyway $14.29 and it went free shipping though and it went to Brooklyn New York a pair of men's Callaway new with tags golf pants size 36 by 30 they were gray with a window pane design in them and those sold for $30.52 and they went to Talmadge Ohio, right here in Ohio. <clears throat> Next thing is one of these chambray shirts that I always pick up. Uh, this is by Coventry. I never heard of this brand, but I picked it up because of the uh, cloth chambray. Uh, it was a button-up shirt, women's extra large. These are nice to wear over another top which is what I do all the time. Uh, it had three quarter sleeves, but they had the roll tab on. You could roll up the sleeves a little bit. Sold for $15.67, a 25% off sale. I ran 25% off through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, and today I have a 30% off sale. And those seem to be working fairly good. So, this went to Ventura, California. Uh, Life Stride Pumps. I've had these for quite a while. Even though they're on this carpet, they used to be on the fuzzy rug because I've re-photographed these and put them back on. And they finally sold for $18.97. Uh, they're the smaller heel. Uh, I don't buy heels anymore uh, until I hear people are actually going back to uh, and getting dressed up to go into offices, <laughs> which I haven't even heard about yet. This went to Eden, North Carolina, and they paid shipping. Went in the uh, priority shoebox. This is a Lily Pulitzer dress. I had gotten this in a box, I think, and one sleeve is rolled up to show it and one sleeve isn't. That's why they look different. This was very worn. I hope the person that bought it read it because that's why it had such a low price on it. It had a lot of wash wear. It even had a hole under the arm which I also showed right there. Look at that hole. Now that is a hole from just being used all the time from being and from being under the arm. Uh, so I showed all these little things and somebody bought it for, uh, where are you here? 
for $12.72, like I said. And it went to Brooklyn, New York. <clears throat> Uh, the next thing is a top I've had for quite a while. You can tell by the background. It's by Joe Fresh. <clears throat> a knit top in an extra large, just a red with black stripe. Uh, I don't pick up Joe Fresh anymore because it takes forever to sell. It sold for $18.02. And it went to Baker City, Oregon. This is a cashmere sweater by Club Room. Uh, I think that's a department store uh, owned brand. And it's a men's extra large <laughs> V-neck pull-on. It's all cashmere, very soft. Um, had two tiny moth holes along the bottom hem. I don't know. I can't remember if it was the front or the back, but I did... I did show them someplace on here, but they were noted, and it sold for $17.24, 25% off of $22.99. I would have marked this higher if it hadn't had the moth holes, but when it does, you have to allow for that. So this went free shipping. So I also lost $4.67 off of that 1724. Went to Honesdale, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Another chambray shirt. This is by Lou and Gray. This is a half button, like a tunic top, high low hem. This was a nice shirt too. This uh, was a medium in a women's, and it sold for $20.99. This had free shipping on it also, so I had to pay $5.38 out of that. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a frog in my throat. Went to Hercules, California. This is that beautiful sweater top. Now, I'm not sure if I got this in a box, or if I bought it, or if I got this from Bumblebee a long time ago. I could have bought this, or it could have come in a box. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was very, very good looking. It sold for $19.77. So that was an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Alb Albany, New York. And they paid shipping. <clears throat> Next thing is a Van Heusen dress shirt in the men's. Uh, I don't usually buy this, so I think it probably came in a box. Uh, this had like a satin stripe on it, but it was all one color. Uh, men's 16 and a half lavender uh, dress shirt. Sold for $14.02. This went free shipping, however. So I paid $4.67 shipping on that. That's okay. Uh, this is an Under Armour zip front hoodie. This is a women's extra large. Had um, zip pockets too, I think. It sold for $18.97. And it went to Wichita, Kansas. And they did pay shipping on that. Priority shipping. Oh, this is a pair. This pair of Talbot's Petite Pants in these, this chino fabric in this green. It was a size 18W Petite. I just put these on. I just listed it and put them away and they sold. They, say they sold within like one day of me listing them. Sold for $13.27. And they went to Erie, Pennsylvania. And that's exactly where I'm from. So I wonder if my sister knows these people. Uh, their name is Susan also. I won't say their last name, but they did pay shipping on it. First class shipping. <clears throat> A 
pair of Levi's 569s. These are men's size 38 by 30, loose fit, straight leg. They were black on uh, black denim. Uh, this is the pair of pants that I started searching uh, my whole inventory because of. These had free shipping on. Now, uh, I don't intend, I didn't intend on having anything in the chip's priority to go free shipping, especially jeans. Well, anything really. Because uh, jeans go in the padded flat rate, and I have to pay eight dollars and thirty cents. So that that came off of that twenty two thirty two. Rather, I pay eight dollars and thirty cents. So that started me looking at all my. I went through all my listings, all my active listings, uh, and looked at all the shipping, and I bulk edited all the shipping back up to uh, priority shipping on all the jeans, at least the jeans. I got them done. There was over 20 pair. That would be a lot of loss for me, 20 times $8.30. Yeah, that was a big mistake. I don't, I'm not doing well on free shipping. <laughs> I may just not do it anymore. And, uh, you know, search for the other priority things that are that are on. But anyway, these sold. That was the first pair of jeans. Uh, this is a pair of Banana Republic dress pants in a wool uh, or a wool blend. Women's size 10 in the Martin fit. Uh, I've had this this style of uh, pants before from them. Sold for $15.32. They did pay shipping on those. And they went to Monroe, Georgia. They were all lined. Here's another pair of jeans. These are silver jeans in a women's suki. Um, they're called fluid denim for some reason. They were a boot cut jean. Uh, they did pay shipping on these, thank goodness. They were 30% off and they bought them for $16.63. I used to sell silver jeans for a lot more than that, but they just don't seem to sell for me unless they have a, I have a big sale on them. And what it is, what is it about silver jeans? Is there any other style besides Suki? That's the only style I seem to ever find, these Suki jeans. So I don't know. Anyway, they sold for $16.63 and they went to Mesa, Arizona. <clears throat> and look at this. Here's the North Face uh, puffy goose down vest that I just got in that thread up box. This is a uh, hoodie vest. It was the the weight of it was 550, and the goose down their weight their rated different warmth, I guess. Anyway. I thought this would go for more than it did, but when I looked it up to what they were going for, this price that I got, $41.27, is about what they're selling for. I, I priced it at $58.96 because I knew I was going to have a sale on it. So, yeah, so it's sold. They go between $40 and $50. That's about what they go for. So I got $41.27 for it. And they did pay shipping on that. Uh, yeah, so that sold very quickly. Next thing is a pair of chambray wide leg pants by Loft and Taylor Loft. These were neat pants. They were uh, had their own self belt, uh, real comfy looking pants, and they were in size what? I don't have it here. I have no idea what size you are. Let's see here. A size large. Look how comfortable they look. They sold for $13.16. Um, they went to Columbus, Ohio. 
The next thing is I almost, I don't know if I almost threw this out or if I just threw it in the Goodwill bag to donate it and then I fished it out when I needed some things to list. But I almost didn't list this. I finally did and I put it at a low, I think t like $10.95, went on sale and I sold it for $7.66 and it went to Madison, Wisconsin. So I did make probably a couple dollars on it, but that's about it. <clears throat> Uh, whoop. okay, another pair of jeans. These are men's uh, 520 low tapered jeans in a size 34. These I think were vintage. Those are the ones with that tag in there. Uh, I'm not sure for sure if they were or not. Uh, I did put vintage on there. But somebody bought them for $18.89, and they went to Chino Hills, California. Okay, that is what I sold on eBay. So let's go to Poshmark now. We'll start out with a good one and end up with a good one. Purse of four. I had never heard of these pants. I think I got, I must have gotten them in a box because I wouldn't have ever looked at these. I never heard of this brand. But then when I looked it up, I was pleasantly surprised at how much they sell for. So I had um, listed mine for $61. And that's what they sold for, $61. They were a size six. They were just plain uh, pants, had pockets in the front, I think. I don't know if they had them in the back. No, nope, nope. Well, that's not the back. This is the back. No pockets in the back. So just front pockets, just a uh, pair of pants. Anyway, they were in the Georgie crop style and they sold for $61. And they went to Osprey, Florida. <clears throat> next thing is a jacket I've had for quite a while I pulled it out and I did, did do a white background on the very first picture because the rest of the pictures had uh, this type of a background this used to be my old white background and it always turned yellow or these, this odd color but this was a J. Crew uh, medium it was wool and nylon and had a zipper down the front. So this uh, sold for $34. And it went to Laguna Beach, Laguna Beach, yeah, Laguna Beach, California. Out of 34, I got $25.48 because uh, they gave a shipping discount of $1.78. Now, on those Persifor pants, I got. Forty-seven oh eight because they had a shipping discount also on them. But happy, happy. This is, I think I got this in a box also. This is uh, by Carmen Mark Valvo. It's a, this was in a, its own little plastic bag when it came. So I'm pretty sure I got this in a box. Uh, it was silk and, and totally beaded. It was heavy. And it was in a size two. It had a zipper, I think, on the side. Yeah, zipper up the side that made it fit tighter. It just fit my mannequin. And uh, yeah, that went to New York, New York, of course. <laughs> Sold for $18, and I got $14.40 from that. Uh, this is a uh, open cardigan with a fringed bottom there, like tassels. This is a pretty sweater. It was by Chico's in a one petite. So it was like a medium. Had three-quarter sleeves. They sort of look long there, but it says three-quarter sleeves in this these earth tones. 
and it sold for $20, and I got $16 from that. After Poshmark takes 20%. Uh, this is a Talbot's Linen Little Crop Shacket. It's a size four. Had little pockets here, down here. It was really a cute little uh, little jacket type blouse jacket, whatever you want. A shacket. That's why they call it shacket. Sold for $15, and I got $12 from that. Uh, this is... I'm not sure if I got this or if this came in the box, but it's by Sacred Threads. I think I picked this up, the Goodwill. I'm not sure. Uh, it was a, uh, sort of an A-line. I said sheath dress. I think it was more of an A-line when you held it out. Had lace uh, inserts here and like a scoop neck. Uh, anyway, it sold. Let me get on the right thing here. It sold for $22, went to Battle Creek, Michigan, and I got $17.60 for that. Here's this uh, uh, NFL Tommy Hilfiger collab uh, sweatshirt. It's, a, it's the Tampa Buccaneers. <laughs> uh, finally figured that out. And... Uh, Went in uh, with Tommy Helfiger and made this sweatshirt. It was brand new with tags. It sold for $30. Uh, they gave a shipping discount on that, so I got $22.28. And I didn't have where this went to, but I know it didn't go to, uh, to Tampa. So I'm thinking this is the one that, that the name of the person, when he was sending it, it had something funny written on it. And I'm thinking he was sending this to somebody that either had lost to the Buccaneers or they were going to play the Buccaneers. I don't know. That was in my own little head. But anyway, it sold. I'm not sure where it went. But, yeah, $30. And the next thing is by just Croft and Barrow, a long sleeve quick cable knit sweater. I might have bought this because uh, these were supposed to be in this year. These uh, heavy knit cables uh, or heavy knit pullover sweaters, oversized sweaters. So I got a couple of these white ones or ivory colored ones. This went for $22. Uh, had a shipping discount, so I got $15.88, and this went to Berlin, Minnes uh, no, Maryland. Berlin, Maryland. <clears throat> Another pair of jeans. These are Harley Davidson. These are black, heavy denim, five-pocket jeans. Uh, the tag says, the tag said 32 by 32. But then they measured, I wrote the actual measurement down here, 30 by 31. Because jeans always measure differently if they're pre-owned and have been worn at all and washed any number of times. They usually shrink up from the bottom, at least, and sometimes they shrink smaller. So you always have to look at the real measurements of jeans if you're buying them. Uh, yeah, so those went to St. Paul, Minnesota. They sold for $36, and I got $28.80. And we'll end with my biggest sale. This suede moto jacket in a women's XL. This sold, this is by UGG, the ones that make the boots. Uh, sold for $75. Yay, yay. And out of $75, I got the full $60, the full 20% off price. So this person had asked for, on my emails, like one, one or two emails below, she asked for a lower price, and then she must have changed her mind and just went ahead and bought it. So I was glad that she did. 
So yeah, that's uh, my big sale of the week. So let me show you my overview. Now this is just eBay here. I'll show you my numbers on Poshmark after I do this. Uh, as you can see, this starts on last Sunday, and it just sort of goes all up, 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 up. Except we have one, one day of one sale here, and today I've only had a couple sales so far. But I'm still hopeful. So the 30% off sale ends today, tonight, late. So hopefully, I usually get my sales uh, in the morning and then at night. It's probably when people have finished doing what they're doing during the day and now they're back on the computer. So let me get back on my screen. Or no, let's go look at my numbers. These are just the numbers of eBay, okay? Total sales were 20. I, I sold 20. The total amount was $491.27. That's still down. Uh, selling costs, 210.12. And my net sales were $260.52. My average selling price. $24.56. Now keep that in mind for when I tell you uh, Poshmark. So those are just uh, eBay's numbers. Okay. So let me get back here. Okay. Okay. I have my numbers for Poshmark. Poshmark, I made 10 sales. <clears throat> And I made, I sold gross $333. And out of that, I netted $259.52. Now that's half as many items, but it's approaching almost as much money. Or getting close. <laughs> But my average selling price on Poshmark was $33.30 compared to $24 something. So I did much better when you look at it that way. Much better on Poshmark on, than on eBay as far as uh, prices of things go and people not offering me really low ball offers. So let me see what people are saying here since I couldn't see before. We don't mind just having a much needed. <laughs> okay. Five in the chat. I think you bought. You think I bought the embroidered top? Yeah, that it was. I could have. It's something that I would have picked out. Because I know uh, I like a lot of embroidery. You wouldn't give up on free shipping just yet? Well, I have to do it a lot more carefully. I can't bulk do it that's for sure sold is sold and you're also trying to reduce your inventory that's true that's true i think of that all the time you know sometimes i have a day when i'm just get overwhelmed with so much stuff and i know i know on those days people get better deals if they offer than days when i don't feel like that <clears throat> uh also, you're not paying as much as a little moth there. Don't get near my sweater. This is wool. Uh, also, I'm not paying as much as promoted. For promoted, I am paying. Uh, I am paying two percent. I used to pay a lot. I'm only paying two percent. That's the lowest you can pay. So I am paying that. Yeah, it was a it was a pretty good week of sales. <laughs> so yes, I already have my things listed for today. I'm almost I'm just about out of things, but let me tell you what I did. 
I went ahead and I ordered a 50 pound box from ThreadUp. I ordered it, I don't know, two, three days ago. It'll take a while to get here. Probably won't get here till, hopefully it'll get here next week, but who knows? You never know about thread up boxes when they get here. I didn't buy another Goodwill box. I didn't think I got good enough things the last couple times in the Goodwill boxes. That if I want to get things from Goodwill, I'll just go shopping myself. Uh, this next time I go shopping, which will be this week sometime, because I, I'm going to need some items. Uh, I will go shopping and I, I will have a haul video sometime in the middle of the week. But I plan on being uh, plan on being picky. Pickier. I was planning on being pickier last time, but I didn't have a coupon. <laughs> so I had to I just got the things that were on sale, remember? So that's why. But this time I'm going to try to just, even if I just get five things, I'm going to try to get really picky on what I get. Hopefully my goodwill will have some good things. And who knows, I may look at things other than clothes. I know Chris and they say don't do that. <laughs> but I used to sell other things. I mean... I don't, I'm not going to get things I know nothing about. I don't want to spend six hours looking things up. But anyway, I put my bird feeder, I filled my bird feeders up now, even though I don't think you really have to do it. They get, they have plenty of things to find in the fall out in the fields and things, but I want to attract them so they know the bird feeders are there again and I'm already having birds come so that's why I wore this shirt today I have chickadees and I have cardinals that's all that's on the sweater I think and uh, I have tufted titmouses and I have tufted titmice I guess they're called and I have nut hatches, and I have a lot of really neat birds. So I'm um, my son couldn't come this weekend. I think I told you. So they're supposed supposedly coming next weekend. It's keeps getting pushed off. He told me to buy my mailbox, which he plans to put up, but I don't know. Uh, he said, just get one you pound in the ground. Well, unless he puts some of that quick creep down there, it's not going to stand up, but for a day. Uh, yeah, you have to pound them in the ground and you have to pour that quick creep in there. And I'm going to be out there with a level, believe me, because... There's nothing that drives me crazier than having something that's not level. Just drives me wild. Like pictures hanging on the wall that aren't straight. Yeah. <laughs> that's my ADD thing. My sister knows about that. So yeah, hopefully they'll be here next weekend. And it'll be nice weather because I want my grandson to do some 4-H things around here for me. And, uh, yeah. So I will close for now. I have to get all my Poshmark things put on my spreadsheet. That's the only spreadsheet I have is for Poshmark. I gave up having it on eBay because... Uh, and on Poshmark, it's only it's only for things I sold. So I know exactly at the end of the year exactly what I sold on Poshmark. And I don't do it on eBay because uh, eBay gives you a printed sheet. You can get it every month. You can get it every week. Just like what I've been showing you. 
you can get it for any time period you want. So it's easy to get it at the end of the year. But on Poshmark, uh, they don't, as far as I know, they don't have anything like that. So, Bumblebee, have you heard anything about the live auction on uh, Poshmark? Have you watched it at all? I don't know what you have to do to get on that, or if anybody that sells can just do it. I don't know. I have to look into it more. I have to try to get rid of some of this inventory somehow. And what do I do? I just keep adding to it. Uh, I started, I was doing six a day listings. Uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put on the number of listings that I sold. So that I'm not adding, you know what I mean? Like if I sold four, the next day I'm going to list four. Uh, I know it won't be as consistent, and whether that'll hurt me, I don't know. But I just don't really want to add any more inventory. I don't want to make more bins. Yeah. So, that's my plan. I don't know how long it'll last. It'll probably last a week or two. But... All my work's done. All my work was done before one o'clock today when the football game started, except for this uh, YouTube thingy. And uh, of course, I could, I hardly have anything else. I have things uh, I can draft from the things I've ended, you know, the older items. I could draft them for tomorrow and add a few new ones. I have three things here that I haven't listed yet. I'm going to put on tomorrow, and then I'll add some of the older items. And then I better go shopping. Anyway, no mail tomorrow. I just figured out when I looked at my calendar for next week, I just saw it was Columbus Day tomorrow. So I don't think there's any mail tomorrow. Because everything is saying to mail my things on the 11th, which is Tuesday. So no rush. So I'll close for now. Thank you all for coming. Oh, you haven't watched it yet? You can't, I guess, I don't know. Can you watch it on the computer? I'm not, I haven't tried. I've only looked at it on the phone. I wonder if you can. I'll look into that. Anyway, I will see you sometime in the middle of the week. Look for me on Tuesday or Wednesday. Four o'clock. And I will see you then. Bye. <laughs>